welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about some calculation of air standard efficiency of an engine working onto the auto cycle so basically this problem it will be related with an auto cycle efficiency so let us see the sum of the data it will be given like calculate the air standard efficiency of the engine working on an auto cycle in which air initially at 1 bar and 20 degree centigrade is compressed adiabatically to the pressure of 16 bar the maximum pressure of cycle is 45 bar and adiabatic index gamma that will be equal to 1.4 so here from the given data at initial condition is given to you and that will be initially at 1 bar and 20 degree centigrade so P1 1 bar so that will be converting into Pascal so 1 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal T1 20 degree centigrade so that should be converting into Kelvin so 293 degree Kelvin after that is compressed adiabatically to the pressure of 16 bar so that will be the second point or you can say second state P2 16 bar so 16 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal and the maximum pressure of the cycle is 45 bar so P max and as from the auto cycle diagram that will be called as a P3 and 45 bar so 45 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal and one more data is given adiabatic index or you can say the value of gamma and that will be 1.4 so here I want to find out the efficiency of an auto cycle so let us see on to the PV diagram of this problem so this x-axis it will be representing as a volume y-axis that will be representing as a pressure says from the auto cycle we already know in the theory in my previous lectures so 1 to 2 process that will be representing as a adiabatic compression process so that will be representing as a PV raised to gamma equal to constant and in that auto cycle heat addition or you can say Q supply at constant volume and Q or you can say heat rejected at constant volume so you can also say that that will be the constant volume cycles so 1 to 2 representing as a adiabatic process of compression 2 to 3 heat addition after 3 to 4 that will be adiabatically expansion process and 4 to 1 heat rejection process so generally 2 to 3 and 4 to 1 that will be at constant volume process so as from the constant volume process diagram here V1 equal to V4 and V2 equal to V3 and according to the different points one point it will be representing as a P1 here it will be P2 and P3 or you can say P max that will be given and P4 now as from the requirement of the calculation of air standard efficiency of an engine working on the auto cycle so air standard efficiency that will be representing as a here and the compression ratio R is equal to V1 upon V2 now as from the PV diagram for 1 to 2 process or you can say adiabatic compression process so P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma so that will be simplified like P2 upon P1 equal to V1 upon V2 raised to gamma so we have the value of P2 over here and P1 that will be from the data and V1 upon V2 from equation number 1 that will be representing as a compression ratio so by the putting of the value and calculation you will get the 
answer of compression ratio and that will be r is equal to 7.2458 now as from the equation of the air standard efficiency and that will be representing here like 1 minus 1 upon r raised to gamma minus 1 so just put the value of compression ratio or you can say r and that will be 7.2458 over here and put the value of gamma from the data and calculate so you will get the answer efficiency of air standard efficiency of engine and that will be for the auto cycle and that will be representing as a 0 0.5471 or you can say 54.71 percentage so that will be the answer so if you understand if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you